just a few years ago, we thought that the, when you were born, that you were completely sterile and had no exposure to bacteria uh, or fungi or any other sort of microorganisms prior to birth. But recent studies suggest that the amniotic fluid that surrounds a baby may in fact have bacteria present in it uh, that may be important in helping set that early immune response uh, for babies as they're born. The first bacteria that colonize those vaginally delivered babies, in fact, are skin type bacteria that are present in the vagina. They also include bacteria that are present in the colon of the mother and you can very early on identify uh, where that child came from by the bacteria that are present in the child's gut because they're the same that ones that are present in the mother. When babies are born by cesarean section, in fact, their initial bacteria are the ones that are present in the environment. So maybe the ones that come from surfaces of counters or uh, uh, hospital beds or other uh, hospital workers uh, and not from the mother. Breastfeeding uh, provides a couple of great sources for helping establish uh, what we think of as a healthy microbiome. Uh, early uh, recent studies show that in fact there are bacteria present in breast milk and that these are passed into the infant and can actually be recovered in their bowel movements, meaning that they are passing all the way through and establishing in, in the newborns. In addition to those bacteria, breast milk uh, makes up to 200 types of carbohydrates that are not found elsewhere. And those carbohydrates seem to help with nutrition of the newborn as well as uh, establishing a home for those healthy microbi microbiota. That initial colonization uh, that comes either from the mother, uh, from the vagina, uh, vaginal flora, or from uh, skin uh, goes through a period in which it uh, changes quite dramatically during that first two years of life. Um, after about two years of age, up until mid-adulthood, it's fairly stable. If you get antibiotics or go through environmental stress or even change the types of foods you're eating, then that bacteria can change uh, quite dramatically in a very short period of time. Um, the types of bacteria that are present are, are quite diverse um, and vary a great deal between individuals. But as you get older, that diversity seems to go away. And one of the questions is, is that a natural occurrence or does it have more to do with lifestyle and activities and foods that older adults are eating? Mm -hmm.